Perry, what's going on? What's up? What's All right, now b b before we get started, man, because I mean, I mean, Bray Bray Perry Perry name change. Let's talk about that before we even get into the whole interview. Mm -hmm. um, a year ago, it was you know reports about you know a whole lawsuit or some shit like that. Let's talk about the whole situation. Uh, I was I was going by Burberry Perry, and then Burberry hit me with an email. It's the crazy thing is before I even got the email, somehow they got the address to like all my family ever, and they sent them a stack of papers like in a box like this much, saying like how like I don't know, bro. They basically didn't want me to use the name no more. And then they tried to sue me for some amount. They went to court in New York. Yeah. Tried to get me to appear in court. I didn't go. I just said, if I could just change the name. So, I mean, when you said that they had a, a, a stack full of your family's information. No, no, like they, they, they found, somehow they found like where most of my family lived mm -hmm. and sent them all this stack of paper saying that they were suing. Wow. Yeah. Like they found like my cousin, my aunties, my mom. Yeah. Uh, 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 like a house that I wasn't even staying at, mm -hmm. like, like I was just like sleeping on a friend's couch type shit. Like, sure. I don't know how they found that out. So it was it like a cease and desist? Like, what? It was a cease and desist. They was going to court. I don't know. Hmm. But really, it all stemmed from because I, I made that song with Kylie Jenner. Mm -hmm. Like, it was literally like right after that song. Like, like I remember I, wo I mm -hmm. went to sleep. I woke up and got the cease and desist mm -hmm. in the mail. Crazy. Overnight, like I, w I went to sleep and woke up and got the cease and desist and all the papers and shit. So was your family contacting you? Like yeah, they, everybody that's getting this, like, like what are they saying? Like there was like, there was like Perry, what the fuck is this? I got I got a stack of papers sent to my house telling you to like stop calling yourself Perry or something like that. So I was like, I don't know. I I I, I shrugged it off at first because I was like I like I'm not making money off of nothing. So like I shrugged it off at first, but then they went to court. And that's when I was like, oh yeah, y'all can have that. Y'all can have it. But like, I, I recently said, fuck it, I'm just going to go by Burberry Perry again. Only because like, I'm not making money off the name Burberry Perry. Mm. Like, I'm not like, it's literally a nickname. Like, they want me to take it out my Twitter. Like, it's not my even my app. It's a little name you can change on Twitter and Instagram. And they want me to take it out or they're going to like, try and delete my They had my SoundCloud deleted. A year, I like last year they had my my entire SoundCloud deleted. And this is through the lawsuit. Through through the lawsuit, whatever. So did when you change your name, did they bring it back? No. So you lost everything. I lost everything. All because you named yourself very very fair. I didn't even name myself very very fair. It literally just stuck. Like right. I literally was. I I used to run around town with like a fake Burberry scarf, and a friend of mine, Nestle. He used to like. He used to be mm -hmm. like, oh, hey, Burberry Perry. And he was like, just making a joke out of it. And he used to say it in front of people. And then, like, other people started calling me Burberry Perry instead of just Perry. So, let me ask you this, because Yachty, with the Nautica situation, uh -huh. Nautica kind of, like, reached out to him when because he, he promoted it so heavy, right? Yeah. Why not Burberry do the same thing with you? Um... Like, did you ever wonder that? Like, damn, Maddie, you, I, got, I, you got an endorsement. I'm trying to sue me. I, I did. I did wonder that, but then I realized it was because, like, uh, like they're like Nautica's like U.S. based, and like Burberry's like London based, and like I don't want to say they're they're like it's kind of like racist over there, but like I know they're like not very pro-black. Mm -hmm. And the the head lady at Nautica, she's like one of the nicest ladies I've ever met. Like, but I think it's just because, like, I don't know, like, I don't want to say it's stigmatism against black people, but, like, I feel like they just don't, like, 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 don't get me wrong. They have, like, black people walking their shows. Like, I've even seen Luca, like, go and, like, do something for Burberry overseas and uh, um, lately. But uh, I don't know. I so, have no idea. I think, okay, here's the main reason. I think because of when I did the song with Kylie, it was seen as such a bad thing that it was like, okay, we need to distance ourselves from this bullshit as far as possible. I think that was probably one of the main reasons. I mean, well, without getting too detailed into their lawsuit, I mean, did they throw a number out there how much they were trying to sue you for? Um, I don't even know. I didn't even flip through the papers, bro. I, just, I literally just changed my name and said, fuck it. Yeah. I, I didn't even like, I was not dealing with no like, 
I, I like, I, I, I was new to everything, so like, I wasn't used to it. Like, I woke up, I'm, I go to sleep and I wake up and I'm on the top of TMZ and like, at first I'm thinking like, someone photoshopped this shit. Like, this ain't real. And then I actually go to the TMZ website and I was up there, so I was like, whoa, what the fuck? This is dead ass. Right. And like, so like, I was new, like, there was like, and like, I, I, I had never had a lawyer before. I never seen a lawyer in real life. Like, I always heard niggas who always wanted to grow up to be lawyers, but I had never seen a, a real nigga lawyer. Like, so like. So, so what is it? What is Yachty saying at this point? Like, at, like everybody want like him saying like he wanted me to say fuck it. Fuck it, as in keep your name. Yeah, keep the name. But like I knew they was going like. I just didn't want to deal with it. Bro. Yeah, just the energy. Yeah. You, you like, didn't want to. I, did, I didn't want to sweat it. Yeah, I didn't want to sweat it because like if if I became like they would hassle me for the rest of my life if they could. So I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm cool on it. So, is it the? I mean, when you say you change your name, did you have to? I mean, change your name how? Just take it off I, social I had, media? I had not even off social media. I had to go back and change my name like off of everything I've ever produced. Things on Apple Music had to be changed. There was vinyls that that like I remember when Lil Boat the first one came out. There was vinyls with Burberry Perry on it, and they had to go back and like make new vinyls with. The good Perry on it. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. So, okay, you changed your name. It was a big hassle. You had to contact iTunes and all that. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, because it was a big, big deal about it on Twitter. Yeah. Um, you changed your name. Did it affect business in any way or no? It did for a little while, but I don't think, like, hmm. I want to say it did stunt, like, it stopped some things, but. I don't know. I feel like I always bounce back, so it don't matter.